Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome to Do Try This at Home I'm your host Mr. G Still fighting a little bit of poison ivy around the eye, and my gastrocnemius muscle, my calf muscle, is really starting to tighten up and become really tense because I tore it about four weeks ago now, maybe five weeks ago. Um, however, it is doing better, in case you're wondering, but you're probably not. So let's just get on with what's going on here. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items like you see right here in front of me, a glass, a plate, ordinary water bottle, are full of water and turns them into something extraordinary. Now, what you're going to do today is you're going to prove that surface tension of water actually creates a skin on water, that, that actually creates a, a surface that's curved. Now, let's show you what I mean. If you fill a glass of water up to about this height, there is actually almost like what would be like a skin on the top of that water because the molecules near the top of the water are like tighter together and they cause a little bit of an upraised bubble. Now, if we try to take and float, actually I'm going to bring this, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you all in a little bit closer. Okay, we're in closer now and as you can see I've taken and taken the cap off of my bottle of water and We've got a glass here that's very full. Now, if you were to challenge yourself or somebody else to float the cap in the exact center of the glass simply by trying to move it to the center and holding it very steady there, no matter how hard you try, the cap always falls off to one side or another. But I'm going to show you how you can actually make that cap center itself. Because of the water's surface tension, if you overfill the container, the glass, until water is actually coming out over the top edge, due to the surface tension, it doesn't want to spill. It likes to adhere to the edges of the glass on the top, so it doesn't want to spill out the edges. And watch what's going to happen. Just like a suspension bridge, because the water is touching every edge of the glass, it's somewhat suspended. Now, if you get just the right amount of water in that glass, and you give a little bump to this, it should basically center itself right in the center of the glass. Maybe just add a little bit more water. There we go. Just a few more drops. Don't want it to spill out over the edge. And look at that. You are able to center the cap on the glass. Actually, it centers itself and it will not fall to one edge or the other. If it starts to fall, it means you don't quite have enough water, because mine's starting to go towards the rear edge there. There. Now, that should center itself. Or come very close to centering itself, depending on how level your, your table or your water is. That's what basically will decide whether or not it's able to be floating right in the center, because the center actually sags a little bit, because it's being suspended by the edges of the glass, so the surface tension of the water makes a small sag in the very center. Kind of like if you wrapped a, a towel over this and got it wet, it would sag right in the middle. That's pretty amazing, but let's take it one step further. Let's now take a needle, and let's take the needle, and let's balance it right on our cap, like that. Now watch this. Notice how, how the needle is making the cap turn very, very, very slightly? See how it's turning? See how it's making it turn more and more? Well, the heavier end of the needle is more magnetic. That way is north. That way. I just can't see my finger. That way is north. And watch what's going to happen here our needle in our cap will actually become a makeshift compass with the more magnetic end pointing toward magnetic north.
Isn't that amazing? And even if I mess it up and turn it somewhat, there we go, then stop it from rotating, it'll go back to the heavy end of the needle pointing towards magnetic north. There it goes. Wow, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. You not only can center the cap, but by adding one needle on the cap, you can make your own compass. Just remember the heavier end of the needle points towards magnetic north. And there you have it. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. Now we just add a little bit more water here till that comes up over the top, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little, whoa, 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 too much, too much, too much. And next I'm going to pour some water out of the pitcher into the glass. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Let's do that again. <laughs>